Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. So I've been going through all of my Bratz dolls and I'm trying to piece and part them back together because I had separated all of their accessories. And um, so today I have Kiana. And uh, Kiana was part of the Wild Wild West uh, series uh, made by MGA in 2005. Um, there's quite a few of the collections that I have, a couple of dolls that um, were part of the little series. Um, so I do have one more of the Wild Wild West. I think that's Fiona. And um, I just don't have all of her uh, parts put together yet all of her accessories with the doll yet so um, I will do the best I can to put um, the collections together as I find them but um, in this particular case I only have uh, Kiana and uh, so I'll have an upcoming uh, video on Fiona a little bit later um, but she is like a little uh, wild west cowgirl and um, I think it was I think it was the first time that uh, Kiana, she might have come out in another collection before the Wild Wild West. I, I'm not sure, um, but I, I'm thinking that uh, she might have had an introductory uh, doll. But um, so this is part of the Wild Wild West, and um, she is like the just the typical brat, so ball joint in the neck, ball joint in the shoulders. Uh, nothing in the waist, nothing in the arm, the three clicking knee, and then the removable shoe. And so she's got these little cowboy boots on, really, really cute. And then um, she's got a secondary pair of shoes. So this is a little bit larger um, uh, accessories, a little bit more accessories that had come with this particular doll. Uh, some of them were just the doll themselves um, with an extra pair of uh, clothes and then this one is more of an extended um, got uh, more accessories with her so um, so and her original outfit I uh, didn't remove it thank goodness <laughs> but I had to piece and part the uh, jewelry so she's got on that uh, little necklace and these little earrings the earrings and the necklaces that all of these dolls are very very hard to dress and I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I'm probably maybe near the end of of the um, the brats when I get to the tail end of it. I'm going to show you a hack that I had uh, <laughs> I had come up with just to get the uh, the dolls dressed because they're so the uh, vinyl on them is uh, kind of sticky with some of the clothes, and then uh, the pieces are really really small. So. I had figured out an easy way to get the uh, clothes on them. So I thought I would share that with you probably later on um, when, I'm, when I'm almost finished um, going through the entire collection. So um, Kiana, she is made out of hard plastic and uh, vinyl and uh, clicking knee. And then um, she has these little uh, beads in her hair. So the, the doll is original. I tried to keep the dolls in as much of the original as possible um, when I stored them, but uh, I took apart all of their accessories, which made it very, very difficult. But the, these were still attached in her hair, so I never really took, I never took them out of her hair. Um, she is also what I would consider maybe a special edition doll because she does have rooted eyelashes. Let me show you that up close here. So it makes her her eyes look a, a lot uh, a lot more cool. And um, so then she has um, quite a bit of accessories that go with her. So she's got an extra outfit. She's got this little tank top and a pair of pants to go with it with a belt on it. This was nice. Um, the belt is actually it's uh, it's actually attached to these pants. It's kind of it's supposed to probably look like cowhide with some uh, fringe on them on the belt and uh, the little uh, stones it's plastic but it looks like uh, turquoise so it's really cool 
Even the beads in her hair and on her necklace, too. Uh, then she came with this little purse. And I always uh, mention that uh, the accessories are really cool because they're not just uh, replicas of what it's supposed to be. You can actually, so I could put some stuff in this little purse, which is really a cool thing. And then there's this little belt. Now the belt would probably be worn with the outfit she has on since these pants already have that little belt on it. So it would, uh, I could put it on uh, the outfit she has on now. Huge belt, belt buckle. <laughs> it's really cute. Uh, she also came with an additional pair of shoes. Little slide on heel. And I'll go ahead and put those on her. So I always mention the um, the cool thing about these the Bratz dolls is that um, the feet are so large that it helps to offset the head a little bit and make it so that they can stand on their own. These are a little they're a little bit tight to get on. Let's see. There's one. And then it snapped on. So they it, it allows them to be able to stand on their own, which makes it really cool. that and then she also came with this little cowboy hat really really cute i think the hat is made out of a, a plastic and it has uh, some fuzzy felt over the top of it and then uh that same uh thing that's on the belt with on the belt buckle really really cute very cute accessories to go with her so um, the markings for all the brat stalls are going to be on the back of the head. And I always uh, tell you guys that uh, she's going to be marked 2001, and that's because they reuse their molds over and over again. They just uh, characterize them after the mold is made, or after the uh, actual doll is molded out. So this is Kiana. Um, I don't think that I'm missing anything for her, but I could have. I do have uh, a lot of spare uh, parts as I'm going along uh, some things that uh, Didn't mesh up with some of the dolls so I could be missing something off of this Kiana doll But um, when I was online all that I did see was the hat and The pair of pants the little uh, halter top the purse the belt um, and then the extra pair of shoes and she has boots and then of course the earrings and the necklace so oh and the and the bracelet so I don't think that I missed anything, uh, but I may have. So if anybody has the Kiana doll, uh, preferably if she's still in the box, which would be really cool if I'd kept her in the box, but, um, uh, and I missed anything, please, please leave that in the comments for me. I uh, really want to get rid of the, uh, match up the extra parts that I have that uh, I don't know belongs to which doll. So this is Kiana. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.